This is your channel where you get the hardcore, undiluted, uncompromising truth. In this video, it is imperative that I look at the mark of the beast and what it truly means from a spiritual perspective and what the number 666 means when it comes to our physical bodies. Six means imperfection, while seven means perfection. Rising from six to seven doesn't have anything to do with time. It has to do with when you chose to rise up and wake up to the perfection of your divine self. So time is an illusion. In the spiritual world, there is no such thing as time. So beings of elevated consciousness is not subjected to time or space. Everything happen, happens immediately and simultaneously. So only in the physical world, we are subjected to time and space. But when we raise the vibratory rate of the physical body to a higher frequency, there is no such thing as time and, sp and space. Everything happens at once and immediately, unlike here in the physical world. So, don't look for things to happen in terms of time. There is no such thing as time. And beings of higher frequency can alter what we call time. We fell from six, from seven to six. We are dead at six, resurrected at seven. We must wake up from six as an upright serpent. The number seven represents the upright serpent, while the fallen serpent, which is the kundalini energy or sexual energy, which is located at the base of the spine, shapes like a curled snake, and that curled snake shapes like a six. Carbon, we are all made of carbon, therefore we are carbonated beings, and melanin is made up of carbon. So, carbon has six protons, six neutrons, and six electrons, which is what they are referring to as the mark of the beast. So, this is another fear tactic used against us. Now, the thing is that what is taking place with this thing, or in other words, the big V, and you know what that truly means, is that if something goes inside of you and re rewrite the genetic code or edit the genome, that is simply making a mark or a template upon the soul. So therefore, someone is leaving their mark inside our physical bodies by giving us this thing. So this is can be referred to as a mark even though 666 is not evil as one would actually think. The, this, the number 666 and the vaccine would be two totally different things. However, the, the sting would fit the description of the passage in the Bible where it is said that no man cannot buy or sell save that he take the mark. So the thing is that if someone alters or edit or rewrite our genome, it leaves a mark upon our physical bodies, not in the tangible physical sense, but the way how our cells would normally function, there would be an alteration of that genetic code. So therefore, the function would be different. And therefore, that, that will eventually affect us on a vibrational level. Now, it is no surprise to see how people, I can see that people really love the idea of really what is going on. They are being neutralized. I see no fight in them. I see no revolution in them. Not all, but the, the ones that are asleep. I see no revolution taking place inside of them. Everything they hear, they take it for face value and accept it. They are on the surface level. They don't think deep and look down into things and see the loopholes 
they don't see what is truly taking place. There is a war going on and only are a few are cognizant of that war that is taking place on a high vibratory level. So the thing is that at the same time, I must say that evil or negative energy plays a significant role here on earth because the negative energy is what propels us to go on a higher level and forces us to look in the mirror which is inside ourselves so if there is no evil man would be become too complacent and too comfortable without looking into their selves without looking up to god their higher self so when we, our back is turned against the wall as Marcus Mosiah Garvey would normally say, if man back isn't turned against the wall, man will not look up. So enough of a lot of the things that we see taking place with COVID-19, the fact that it causes us to cause people not to gather anymore, like in places like the church, you can't, um, you have to stay six feet apart. All of the things we see taking place, it has a deeper meaning because these people need to be shaken up because if they are not shaken up and their back is not against the wall, they are not going to look up and look within themselves. So even though I do not agree with what is currently taking place, at the same time when looking at it from a spiritual perspective, I like the fact that it's shaking up these people because until man look up and turn from their we, from from, the, from the, the, the lifestyle that they are now living with their minds closed down the thing is that life on earth is going to get worse it's going to get rougher and rougher each passing day so the thing is that what is currently taking place um, good is going to come from the evil that is taking place on the earth so all of what is taking place will cause many of us to evolve and, and, and go into, to, into a higher dimension while the rest would perish down on the lower level because they grow not. If you look at the trees or any plant, when, it, when, when it, the seed has germinate, germinated, you see it rises up to the sunlight and grows straight upright. What we see these people doing, they are not reaching up to the light of God within themselves. They are worshipping something that lives external outside of themselves they worship the beast because if you are not worshiping the god inside of you are in other words let me not use the word worship but connect communicating with that being which is the god that lives within you then you are worshiping something which is a beast that exists outside of yourself so we need to tap into ourselves so the universe is saying to us that we need to tap in we need to look within ourselves because this is not a joke as, as as how people really takes it there's a spiritual warfare taking place all of this has nothing to do with what we actually think this is a spiritual warfare and this is to the crispr technology which edits our genome is to cut the god gene or try to put the the, the to try to put us to sleep or remove god from our dna so this is a vibrational slower because the higher you vibrate the higher in consciousness you will actually be but when we take this thing into our body we will start to vibrate at a slower frequency thereby stopping or slowing down the ascension process but mark you they won't have it all even though the fact that evil wants everything as long as light remains strong and adamant, the thing is that evil or darkness cannot have it all. So we are soldiers. We have strong soldiers here who is willing to fight, join the army of God and fight for, for the good of all mankind. But not all will wake up and unity is the key. But not everybody is, is going to unite or willing to unite. So we have to use higher psychology or higher wisdom when it comes to the people because it's like every man is to themselves these days. Everybody has different views and these are the things that cause us to 
cause us not to unite, cause us to be divided. So we have to vibrate in a sense of one of oneness, one consciousness. When there are double consciousness or triple consciousness or many more consciousness, as in many different beliefs, denominations, religions, it causes people to divide to be divided. It causes people to be divided. Everybody has different um different opinions or different belief when it comes to certain things and that causes people to draw away from each other instead of you uniting and that is what we have to deal with and there are some things that we cannot change there are some things that we cannot change so we have to learn to work around things and um the world sometimes is not impacted by the mass of the people or by everyone Sometimes it's just a handful of people like 10, 20 or 100 people who makes significant impact or difference in the world. So I see people just comfortable as long as they know that they have shelter, they have food and their children are going to school. As long as they are comfortable, man fail to use, his, fail to use their mind. Their mind is asleep because everything is spoon-fed, is given to them. But when all of this is stripped away from them, and that is what COVID-19 is doing, stripping them down, then man will be able to wake up. So we must see the divine sense from all of this madness and atrocity that is taking place on the earth. We have to look, look at things not as how it seems. We have to look at it from a spiritual perspective because the things that we think are really bad for us when you really check it out it has positive impact so we have to learn to transmute the negative energy into positive energy that's what we have to do and fear is very contagious it is like a virus that eats away at the soul of man so we must learn to be strong and bold and be courageous and stop this fear. We, we, we are, the human race is very fearful as they hear something that they don't match up to their standard or to what they are match with what they believe. They kind of shun you and draw away from you. But what we need to do it, be doing, stop be fearful of how things sound and look deep into the matter. Look into what the person is saying and just don't shun that person because if you allow people to explain themselves thoroughly then you will probably get a better understanding of what they are saying however on the flip side no matter how much evidence you bring forward no matter how much you try to persuade or show somebody the light or show somebody the truth as long as that person is unwilling to, to, to look into what you are saying or open up his or her mind to what you are saying. They will never ever get what you are saying or look into what you are saying. So the, the goal is not to force anyone, is not to persuade anyone or try to convince anyone not to take anything or that this is the truth or this is wrong. The, 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 that is not the purpose. My purpose and other beings like me here on the earth purpose is only to spread this fire of truth, to kindle this flame upon the earth. Let it spread like a wildfire, enlightening the minds of everyone, whether they are willing to accept or reject. That's not the point. The point is to just spread that truth upon the earth. That's the only goal. Because if you look at a fruit tree, once as it bears the fruit and that fruit becomes ripe, it attracts persons to come and pick and eat of it. But it doesn't force you. And if that fruit is on that tree and you don't take off that fruit and eat, then that fruit um, overripes and falls to the ground and rot. So that's the same way people with extraterrestrial or out of world knowledge, what they are here to do is like that fruit tree. They produce the fruit, you are free to take of it, but you are not forced to take of that fruit. So that's what we are here for. 
No, this is a video about the mark of the beast. And I've known that, that I've gone out into other topics. But another thing that I would love to address is that the, the Bible, I don't want to blame the Bible 100%. But the thing is that from man has this book in their hand, it closes off their minds. They don't think for themselves no more. They are, they are only speaking about the prophets in the Bible and what they have done. What have you done? What have you done? It says that greater things shall he do. There are greater things we can do, but we are holding on to the past and what past ancestors have done. But what have, have we done? Look at the state of what of, of the state where the world is in now. Look at the state we are in. What are we really doing? We are talking about Moses, um, all of these Bible prophets. And we are not looking to the fact that there is a God that lives inside of us. And we can tap into that God anytime through, med through meditation. And people, there are, there, are, there are many people who don't know how to meditate or know the art of meditation. And meditation is one of the main key that pulls you up the spiritual ladder because it stills the mind and puts and places you in connection with your higher self or in other words to make it more simple place you in connection and com and communication with god when you are in communication with god you need no school you need no church you need nothing you need not even money because with god you have everything you you have ever seen the pyramids and um they are puzzled to this day how the pyramids are built it wasn't built by men of, 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 of who had degree or PhDs. These men only connected with God on a higher vibrational level. And they could extract all the knowledge to build these pyramids and other sophisticated instruments we see in the ancient past. So what, what is currently taking place is that the universe is telling us something that there is something greater within ourselves if we search for it earnestly if we tap into that source then we can do wondrous things so the human race is at a crossroad and they must choose which side they are on because there is a parting of the sea and i'm not talking the physical sea i'm talking the multitudes of the people because these people imagine 8 billion people gathered together in a, a ear, in, in, in an open space. Wouldn't that 8 billion people look like a sea? The multitude, it would definitely look like a sea. Now when the truth utters and people hear that truth, it will cause a division. Some will run over to the truth and some will turn their back their backs against that truth and depart far from it. So that would cause a splitting or a parting of the people which represents the parting of the sea. No, the soldiers, the strong soldiers of light and the light side will be at war with the people who departs from the truth over on the dark side. So there will be a warfare between the two between the light side and the dark side, which are the people of the light and the people of the darkness. But at the end of it all, all shall be transformed into a full bright light. All people at the end of it all shall be transformed into a full light. But mark you, and I'm going to leave you with this. This is a war. This is a war of the worlds going on. It's a war of the worlds. And if you have ever seen the movie War of the Worlds with starring Tom Cruise, you need, you need to go and watch that, that movie, War of the Worlds, because it's a war for our souls. So we need to know what is going on. And um, for the people who are still asleep, continue being asleep. Continue being asleep because it doesn't take a million men to make a difference. It just takes one spark a fire to 
ignite a whole worldwide flame upon the earth. And I'm not talking a physical fire. I'm talking a spiritual fire of truth and righteousness. And this fire will purge the earth from all the evils and atrocity that is currently taking place. So, that's it for now. I will see you in my next upload shortly. Bye for now.